of the American people, we are delighted to welcome you to the United States for your 39th annual meeting in history. Free men and women for a good time. Free men and women are themselves the driving force of our future will, depend on our own freedom, courage, vision, and faith. When our dreams have fared best during these tumultuous times, we're not the most tightly controlled, not necessarily the biggest in size, easy. We knew that it would require great effort and patience, but we were confident that once our people saw it through, the rewards would be far greater than anticipated. That's us. Born in the safe harbor of freedom, economic growth gathered force and rolled out in a rising tide that has reached distant shores. With six million jobs and seen our expansion sustained by exceptionally low inflation, consumer prices are rising by only around by continuing to restrain the growth of our government spending. We have already cut the rate of that spending by more than half, and we're pushing hard for an amendment to our constitution productivity. We can create a bounty of new jobs, technologies, and the quality of life surpassing anything that we have ever before dreamed or imagined. I tell you today from my heart, we in America want to share our knowledge and the blessing were published by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development as indicating that governments can best spark economic growth by spending less and cutting tax rate. Your 1984 IMF annual report pointed out that with the progress of economic recovery, attention here in the world's largest single market, has meant increased trading opportunities for other nations. A 1% increase in interest rates would increase net interest payments by the non-OPEC LDCs by only about two and a half billion dollars. But we're not seeing an increase in interest rates. There's been a land, slight drop in the last several days, and I believe there will be more of that ahead. So we can be pleased at the improving outlook for the world's economy. We must staunchly resist if we each of us is prepared to give them Ginger Archer sang a song before I came on. That was just about, you know. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. I am so honored. I knew I was going to do this. Where was the ginger? Where was the Things, thanks to you, I met a very terrific guy who I've worked for about the past six weeks. I just, I, I have a lot of I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, I lived in California when you were there, and whenever I knew that you had won the nomination, I made a point after for almost 30 years, I said, I have to go and register to vote. After, you know, I said, this guy has got to do for the country what he did for California. I knew you would, and you have. Thank you. Um, Thank you very much. I love you so much. 
so very much. I really do. And there's a lot of people in Kentucky that belong to the other party that say, give me my best. <laughs> we, they love you very much. And I'm honored that you have given me just a few minutes to say. Thank you. Know. So grateful that 60 Minutes did what they did so that I could learn about you. Uh -huh. it's, it's just it's wonderful. I think we have a mutual admiration society. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you've been working on a temporary position and uh, Bill Moore, Mr. President. My boss. And he has something from us. There's something I want to give you. Okay. Your favorite <laughs> role. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You may know Mr. President has something to you. Well, yes. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you very much. Um, we have just a little something here. To Arm bracelet or any of the the presidential seal. Oh, we got one. Souvenir. Mm -hmm. And there's a time Thank you, Mr. President. For you. It's an honor. Uh, he is a great friend of yours, also. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And now I understand that uh, you're going to be working on the United States Department. I'm so looking forward to that. Very much. an excellent opportunity to train the program. The only thing about it, I won't be working for him anymore. <laughs> I won't be working for him anymore. <laughs> of course, I knew when I went to work for him that it was temporary. But uh, I, I've, I know that my life, I've been blessed. I really have. I don't feel that I've been picked on or put upon at all. I've been very blessed. And I know that besides the birth of my children, meeting you is the highlight of my life. Well, it really is. Good night. You hold that for a second here. I, I have to tell you, on that program, those sons of yours, and that one young man, when he was interviewed about you, and he said that you were special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, uh, that was quite a moment. I'm really not. Yes, you are. <laughs> you, tell, you tell him. Well, both of them, they're pretty special, too. I sure am. And I, I appreciate this opportunity. I know your schedule is busy, so I won't, I won't stay. But I just keep up the good work. You got four years to do it, and you'll do it for me. <laughs> I'm a positive thinker. <laughs> if I can ever do anything, I know it in my little way. If I can ever do anything, please let me know. I certainly can. God bless you. Oh, he can. God bless you. Can I give you a kiss? You can. <laughs> give my love to Nancy. Sure you don't. She won't mind if I come. <laughs> um, please take care of yourself. You are one of the best looking people I think I've ever met. I really, you know. That sets me up. And I, I better go. Before I start crying again. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Brown. Well, thank you very much. It's so wonderful to meet you. Um, I'm, I'm just a great fan. Keep. So am I. Yeah. <laughs> Please take care of yourself. I will. I pray for you every night. I believe in that. Oh, that's, I think that's really the only, the only answer to a lot of the problems. I am. Please. I don't want to leave. I know. I've got a schedule. I know you do. Well, this won't be the last time. Oh. Uh, oh, I couldn't go through it again. <laughs> I've just been looking forward to this for, well, since I've known that I was coming, I just get more nervous every day. Well, I have to do my good. I'm um, just so honored. I'm here. Take care. <laughs> Can't shake hands with you and say goodbye. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Well, we shall see you. All right. Thank you, Mr. President. Constituent of mine, uh, Mr. President, yeah. and I'm mighty proud of him. He's been friends a long time as well, and it's just yeah. really pleasing.
of the true American heroes left. I was uh, astounded at the time uh, when I was there. I didn't realize that just free Bologna, you strive to Monday and, and you're there. Yes, sir, but I was going uh, 50 to 60 miles an hour on occasions, and uh, I never had to slow down. I just kept going and uh, left Friday night and got actually landed uh, Thursday afternoon in uh, Monte Note, Italy. Well, sir, this is a flag that I had, uh, our American flag that I had on board the, uh, the balloon, and I would like to present it to you, sir. It's, uh, uh, we're very proud to carry our flag, and uh, this was flown all the way to, to uh, the Monte Note to Italy, sir. Well, thank you very much. It's a long flight in the record setting. Well, he said he set four records on this flight, Mr. President. In addition to being the first solo flight, he's got the duration and several other records with him. Yes, sir. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You must be very good at you. I know you were on so few of them. Yes, sir, it was. Good year. Uh, I met you in California when you came back. We were honored at a meeting uh, at a dinner out there. When we met you in the yes. right in there. I know we had to, we had to, about two minutes get there. We were yes, sir. Before we threw in four separate dinners. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I was uh, in attendance at one of those dinners. Well, that, I must say that still remains as one of the great experiences of our life, meeting all of you. I don't know whether the first dinner we had, one experience that I'll never forget, two men. Oh, thank you for that very much. <coughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. But the two men met in our living room, heard each other's names, threw their arms around each other. They were the closest of friends. They knew everything about each other's family. They saw each other face to face for the first time in their lives. They had, they had made their friendship tapping on the wall on the wall between their, their two cells. Fantastic. Well, you know, it's a, he set a record when he was in the Air Force as well for jumping from a high altitude balloon at 19 miles and going free falling for 16 miles. Well, that's right. I just heard about that the other night. Yes. So, so he's, he's got quite a track record. Yes. I, we've been keeping him down there since he retired, but he just won't stay still, you see. There's <laughs> <laughs> still a lot of adventure left in life, uh, Mr. President. Well, well, listen, well, that flight alone was it. I just couldn't get over it. And I guess this was lonely up there, too. Yes, sir. But I'm a fighter pilot, and I'm used to being alone. And, uh, <laughs> it was a great, uh, great adventure, sir. The free fall, yes, I just heard about that. That, you know, how, I remember when I was a kid, I used to think that if someone fell a great distance and everything, well, it was all right because they'd be unconscious before <laughs> they landed. You've disproved that. Yes, sir. Well, th those uh, jumps, sir, were for science and for research and engineering purposes, and there was a, a great reason for those, uh, to gather data for our space program. Uh, there was absolutely no data collected on this flight. It was strictly an adventure just to do and, and, uh, and have, an, have an adventure. What is the sensation? Is there the free fall? Yeah. Uh, I was the first man to go supersonic without an airplane uh, during this fall uh, from uh, 20 miles up. But uh, you're, you're falling, there's no relative motion because there's nothing there that you can perceive. So you're going very <laughs>